Hi everyone, I'm Callie Wally. Welcome back for another episode of The Witcher 3. I'm super excited to get started today. I've already been in the game for about two hours, so I didn't realize that my map didn't have exploration mode on or it wasn't switched to all. It was just on default. Um, and a few of you guys pointed out to me that I was missing a bunch of places to explore in the White Orchard area. And so I spent all morning going around to all the different places and I got a lot of loot. Um, I sold a lot of my stuff and I've also put some ability points in some of the places. So I was kind of just like experimenting, getting to know the game a little bit more so that we could actually jump in and explore another area besides White Orchard today. I hope you guys don't mind that I did this off stream. I just wanted to kind of get in the game and explore a little bit off camera. I did take a couple hours to just explore and loot and find some ability points scattered around. Um, lots of drowner brains that we were missing before. So I'm excited to hop back in today. I did get a lot of feedback and I actually started um, a witcher journal <laughs> to kind of keep my thoughts straight. Um, I looked through some like ability trees. I've done a bunch of research um, before I actually jumped in today because I felt like I was missing out on a lot of the um, beginner tips that I should have been paying more attention to. So thank you for all of your comments. I really, really appreciate them. And I read through every single one of them. And I really appreciate all of the knowledge and all of the excitement uh, going into this game. And I hope that you guys have been enjoying the playthrough so far. Thank you guys so much for hanging out for another episode. Let's get started. All right, so I've already done all of the different quests in all of the areas so there's no more question marks there are a few monster nests that i wasn't able to find bombs for i did get one finished um but i couldn't find the materials to make some more of the other bombs but i know that we can come back to this area again so i'm guessing once we get more materials for bombs we can um blow up more of these monster nests and get some more loot from them. But I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go um, see Vesemir now. I've already cleaned out my inventory for the most part. Um, I did put one of the trophies for Roach into the storage here. And I sold pretty much um, all of the junk all of the stuff. I won't be dismantling things like crazy today. Thank you guys for the tip on that as well. Um, I have been just kind of like selling things and picking up loot as we go. I'm sure we'll get some better um, items here. But yep, let's go get uh, talk to Vesemir. And get started as we prepare to leave White Orchard. I did get an email from some one of my subscribers um, explaining kind of what's going to go on when we leave White Orchard. Apparently, we're going to talk to someone and I picked a game file that allowed me to input my gameplay from The Witcher 2, which I obviously didn't do. Oh my God, there's that cat again. So I read through, um, thank you so much for sending that email because I had no idea that I would just be asked questions based on my responses in The Witcher 2. So I was able to make an informed decision and kind of just figure out how I wanted to input my answers rather than just willy nilly putting them in. So I really, really appreciate that. So my answers that I put in um, whatever this next part is, um, I've actually done the research and looked through and actually watched some of the past Witcher 2 videos from other content creators um, to kind of see what decisions I would have made in The Witcher 2 that unfortunately I didn't play before this one. Maybe a miss on my part. All right, here's Vasimir. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so something wrong. Look around. Trouble brewing. Oh, they're playing that crazy knife game. <laughs> um, who are they? Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any Nilf Guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. I'm guessing he's not going to stay out of it. <laughs> oh, 
that was that look. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show to Mary in colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. No shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister go. tending to the birth. No. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt. Um. Oh. Wow. What is that saying? The hurt, hurt. Recognize this medallion. Hurt people, hurt people. You know what it means. Back off. You all right? Jeez. They say witches steal young'uns. Broke her nose. That's true. What the emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. Yep, we're fighting. <laughs> Okay. Get out the way. <laughs> Mess of me is just like all up in my way. Oh, it's so dark in here. Be scared too. He just uh <laughs> took that guy's hat off. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Yeah, we should probably leave. Our work here is done. That brawl, we didn't start it. Is that Yennefer? Excuses, excuses. It is. You've not changed a bit. It's Yen. Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't yeah, get that's me wrong, interesting. Jennifer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Hmm. What? Why Vizima? We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even. So you almost can't smell the corpses. Yeah. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. An emperor. Those on more intimate terms with him. The white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Mm, I suppose I can hear him out or wonder what he offered you. <laughs> um, I suppose I can hear him out. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. We'll follow Yen. We'll follow her. Matina, Ebbing, and Gamera. 
Sovereign of Nazaire and Vico Varo will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your Aww. help, Vesemir. We're leaving Vesemir. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Wow, I wasn't expecting to find Yen this quickly. Thought we were going to go on a whole adventure. I wonder what the Emperor wants with us. Interesting. You can't stop staring at her. <laughs> Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. Is that Ash? Who is that? guy from the beginning with that like really deep voice this tomorrow all right after the audience after the audience well we're in bazima interesting wonder why we were being followed by that crazy guy that was from that was the same guy from the very beginning with a really deep voice bazima one day later oh, we're being bathed <laughs> Oh, wow. Can almost see some stuff. Mm. It must suffice. <laughs> Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? <laughs> in that chair. I said that in my brain too, like what's a bergère? Captain, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Oh, they're gonna shave my beard? No, he looks good with a beard. Hmm. Something wrong with my beard? <laughs> what's wrong with my beard? thought it added to my dignity it does yet it also detracts from your elegance in Nilfgaard we consider beards hard on the eyes mm. especially beards infested with lice I don't have lice. Wrote a while fine do your thing tilt your head back please and sit still mm. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Uh, true. <laughs> Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Richard, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen through. Sure. People were.
Ulrich's gotta be in order. Hmm. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Ariel. Oh, this is where... Okay, so I actually wrote down... Um, whoever wrote me that email, thank you so much. I would have not known what I was doing in this part. Um, so for this first question, I decided to spare his life, and he escaped. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. So that is how the blaze started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsa, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how? Um, I got to Flotsam with Vernon Roach. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes and- A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well. You forge interesting alliance. It's not a bad choice. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Mm -hmm. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Um, had to save Triss. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost this makes me wish I'm that I would have played the Witcher too. Because from what I know, Shortly afterwards, you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansoville to bits. Um, Seal escaped. I say that because I did a lot of research after I got this email saying that my decisions now would sway kind of how The Witcher 3 went. So I am hoping that I did enough research beforehand. Um, I'm sure I'm probably going to get some comments that are like, why did you choose that decision? But, um... I mean, every game is meant to play differently, so it'll be interesting to see. I just wish that I had a little bit more background on the decisions that I'm making now because they're based on very, um, very quick, loose judgments rather than actually playing through The Witcher 2 um, in its entirety. So that makes me a little bit sad, but maybe one day we'll do The Witcher 2. I feel like... Um, we'll be able to do like another playthrough at some point, but... Yeah, it makes me sad. I wish I would have um, played The Witcher 2 before this, but that's okay. I watched her get in the Megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Okay, and then I decided to keep Letho alive, or Letho, I'm sorry, Letho. Um, that alliance is still alive. What happened to Letho? That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of He does look nice death. shaved also. He doesn't look bad with or he looks good with or without a beard. To, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. <laughs> Good luck with your audience.
feels more like I'm being ready for a wedding. <laughs> so, it's I very fancy. The gentleman a frock, a tail coat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Oh, I get to pick. That's cool. Um, but where are my clothes? Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago with the laundress. <laughs> they will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Okay. They're getting me very fancy for this emperor. Does it matter which one I pick? No, it just says loot. Oh, that one's ugly. <laughs> I feel like that one's okay. The first one's a little bit more like plain, solidish, solid color. All right, take all. Can we take all of these? Oh. Can we sell it later? <laughs> All right, let's get changed. The belt on that one looks neat. Oh, I guess they look the same. That one looks more his style. Very plain. Okay. We got to keep the bath towel. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Um, yeah. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. Yeah, he looks very, like, Tough. out of... <laughs> out of character. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. How to bow? Confirm away. Confirm away. Please watch. I can't imagine the Witcher bowing in front of anybody. Hand flat, head down, chin to chest. Um. Rehearse. Okay. Wait, what did he say? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, right leg forward, left hand on chest. That sounds right. That looks wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. <laughs> Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. Okay. His right and hand's on his rehearse. chest. All right. Which one is it? Right hand on chest? Yep. I chose the wrong leg. It still looks weird. Mm, lacking fluidity and grace. But it's right. But we've learned to expect <laughs> less of Nordlings. Come with me. <laughs> His face. All right. On the way. Wow, this is beautiful in here. The gentleman will address Look at all the, the details in this room. To, and using the appropriate type. Oh, oh well, look at this castle. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Imgrimi et ad kerze. Dyfen aden in karn eb marvut. Emir var emreis. Bow. I'm not going to bow. <laughs> Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. I just feel like it looks so awkward. I don't know. Doesn't he know him already? That's what Yen said. What I... I just feel like he so wouldn't bow. At full test court. <laughs> Yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. Yeah, you know what they say. Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days. So silence. My daughter Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. It's an angry the portrait. Pursues her. 
You will find her and bring her to me. She's back, you're sure? Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I'd drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. Hmm. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. Why me? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this mm. banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Oh, money's always good. Only doing this for Siri or need information, not motivation. Um, I mean, he loves Siri. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Hmm. All right, so they want us to find Ciri. Wonder where she could be. Did the gentleman understand? Yes. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the emperor? He's mad. Relax. Nothing happened. <laughs> to the gentleman, I shall be punished. Oh. Please keep close and bother no one. Oh, I didn't think about him. Not it's not his fault that I didn't bow. Wow, this place is huge. I'm Herivard the second, Prince of Hey, it's that uh it's that guy that was questioning us. This place is really pretty. What language is that? Is that like... It sounds... Latin. Um... Okay. So go talk to Yennefer. Where's Yann? <gasps> Look at this place. Wow, there's so many like small details. Whoa. Wow, this is really nice. There's so much detail in this game. It's amazing. I feel like I'm really here. Okay, where's Yann? Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. So Our grown up which has grown into a young lady. Oh. So there are agents now. Yeah, all grown up. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. 
Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. Mm. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. Um, what does the Wild Hunt want from Ciri? The Wild Hunt. I mean, she's obviously very powerful, Siri. right? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. Yeah. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her humor so dry. Gift. Yeah, as her for blood. What Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I. I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has she been seen? So where has Siri been seen exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? <laughs> None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Mm. Tris Merigold. Oh. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? Doesn't he love Triss or Watch is that like an old thing? There was a magic explosion there recently. It blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Um, why didn't you contact me earlier? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Damn. Jealous? I lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Yeah, I'm jealous. Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Uh, ouch. Time to get going. Dang. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. <laughs> Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. Okay. All right, so we need to get our stuff back and then also talk to that guy that she just told us to talk to. Whoa, look at the books. Bye, Yen. Wow, that was really cool. Oh, we can loot these? Letter to Yen. Yennefer, my dear friend, thank you for your letter. Forgive me for not answering your earlier attempt to reach me via Megascope. I'm trying to limit my magic communication to the absolute minimum. One never knows who's listening, don't you agree? I'm delighted you have finally found a position at our gracious Emperor's court and wish you the best of luck in the search for his daughter. It is good to know that Emperor's... Oh gosh, I'm probably butchering that name. Empire's intentions for her have become more, how shall I put it, mundane. Perhaps in these circumstances, an agreement regarding the Lodge will prove possible after all. In response to your first question, I can state beyond all doubt that Siri has not appeared anywhere south of 
Yaruga. Believe me, I could recognize her magic signature in my sleep. I have not had any contact with Triss for a long time. I know that things in Novigrad have taken an ill turn. She mentioned something earlier about fleeing to Kovir, but I'm afraid that in the current political climate, the amounts uh, that amounts to almost impossible daydream. I hope to be soon be able to join you in Vizima. First, however, I must take care of some unfortunate yet urgent matters in Buclair. Um, with my fondest regards, Fringilla Figo. Thank you for the news about Geralt. He always seems to land on his feet, doesn't he? Oh, Wait, what was that other one? I think I had another... Letter to... She looks so grown up. Yeah, she looks all grown up now. Crazy. Can I look at these more? No. Sword for witches? So what is this one? Letters with Yennefer's instructions. I have a feeling we wouldn't have a chance to talk before Vizima, so I leave you this message. I know there's both that we both wish we could say, but there is time for that later. In any case, the letter is no place to broach topics on importance of such importance to us both. Um, so why I write you now, you have something waiting for you at the royal place in Vizima. Considered a gift from um, Emar himself and myself, I'm sorry. You can pick it up at your leisure after your audience with him. When you exit the throne room, simply follow the covered walkway in the courtyard, turning right at the corner, then take the first door on your left. You'll be inside a chamber with a fireplace. Take the door in the back right to the adjoining room. There, under the window, you'll find a chest with your gift. But in case these directions prove too complicated, I'm certain the Chamberlain will not hesitate to lead you there himself. Um, expert tracker that you are, however, I think you'll manage. Okay, so we need to find that. Exit the throne room. Simply followed. Are we in the throne room? Okay. We can also ask the Chamberlain, I guess, but I think she wants us to probably find it. Some lore. What are these? Why are they shiny? <laughs> Tons of books in here. A rusty bread knife. Okay. More photos of Siri. Here's some chest here. Ooh, that looks like some fancy stuff. <laughs> Who's this from? Your friend Yennefer? My dear friend, if you're reading this, it means you found the chest I mentioned in my previous letter. Oh, so this, we already are there. You'll be pleased to know its contents belong to you. After I spoke with the Emperor regarding additional resources to aid in your quest, he was willing to part with these items from his personal collection. Although he was stubbornly cryptic regarding their origins, he did mention they were diplomatic gifts from distant kingdoms. The tiger armor is specifically designed to suit a Western ruler. Obviously, Amir didn't in his case. It was forged in the ancient style of a blacksmith who stole the secrets of its construction from their gods or so the legend goes. The sword, to my eye, resembles a Redanian saber, though I'm no expert. These blades, excuse me, these blades supposedly once belonged to a hero of myth and mystery. The man forged a pact with a vixen spirit and through her blessing was granted the ability to slay the monsters that had long plagued this village. As you'll notice, he carried both a steel and silver sword, a fact I thought might pique your interest. Unfortunately, legends are all I can offer. As I said, Amir was stinging with the details. Oh, sorry, stingy with the details, even more so than usual. It's a shame because I must admit I haven't the faintest idea where they might originate. That being said, I do believe Zarekni and Ophir can safely be ruled out. 
Dear friend, I trust you will appreciate my efforts to help. Use these gifts as you see fit. I hope they will hasten your search for that which have been lost. Your friend, Yen. Well, she gave us some stuff. I can't open my inventory now? Okay. I guess I have to go get my stuff back from him. Am I allowed to take this stuff in front of them? <laughs> what is a non-human? The simple answer. As the very name suggests, it's something which resembles and yet nevertheless is not a human. Though it walks on two legs, speaks a tongue similar to your own, and dresses in similar attire. It is all the same that has more in common with base beast than noble man. Dwarfs are like moles, halflings, elves. Okay. I feel like they're going to yell at me, but I guess not. I'm just going over here looting stuff. <laughs> okay. Lots of smoking pipes. A free and independent Tamaria is no more. A dark-faced sun looms over every rampart. Yet we Tamarians live on and always will. As long as folk believe the usurper who took our beloved capital Vizima to treat as his property will forever peer over his shoulder in fear. For in the shadows lurks not one dagger, but the power of nations of daggers waiting to deal justice's blow. It's deep. I'm guessing these are mostly just, um, just lore pieces, which is very cool. If I wasn't doing a playthrough, I would probably read through all of them and sip my tea. <laughs> I'd actually go back later. Oh, it's about non-humans again. I don't think we picked up this one yet. Okay, let's go get our clothes back. I think we've looted everything in here. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. That was nice. Thanks, bunches. <laughs> the emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound as soon as possible. Yeah, mentioned something of the sort. So long. <laughs> okay um imperial audience completed now it just says to travel to velen new marker hanged man's tree okay so there's a couple new markers in this area i think we should probably explore before we leave we can put our clothes back on too this is the white tiger white tiger armor that um Yen gave us. It says it requires level 11, so we'll just keep it in our inventory until then. But let's put that back on. I believe these were the boots we had. And the pants. Where's my gloves? Okay. believe we had this sword. And one of these. Okay. I like the one that we have equipped. Critical hit chance and chance to poison. I think those are good. Alright. And everything else is still... Normal. Okay. There are some, like, herbs and stuff around here as well. That I guess we could... We can pick... Oh yeah, I see a side quest... Marker over here. Nilfgaardian Nobleman. Oh, it's a game of Gwent. <laughs> uh, let's...
let's bet five coin. That's fine. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. We can play with some of our new Gwent cards. I'm gonna freeze his front row again. Because that helps us win. Alright, so if I pass now, do I win? <gasps> Let's go! Okay. Northern Realms faction ability trigger. North draw. Gosh, that goes so fast. Okay. What? Why did he give me that card? I'm not really sure how to grab more cards. I don't even think I can. Why did he give me a card? Place on your opponent's battlefield counts towards opponent's total and draw two cards from your deck. Mm. All right, well, we have to pass. We don't have any cards. Mm. We lost. So what happens? What happens when we lose? Do we lose like all of our cards too? Oh man. All right. Well, not gonna be a sore loser. I just need to watch more YouTube yeah. videos <laughs> on Gwen because I have no idea what I'm doing. That was like the first real game that we've actually ever played. It's a lot of fun, but I feel like there's more to it that I'm missing. Can we go in these rooms? No, okay. Well, we might as well just pick up One false move and you will regret it. the little bit of herbs and stuff that we can in here. I know it's probably not important. Okay. What are they doing in here? Why are they tearing up that centerpiece? Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, he didn't say anything to me? I thought maybe he would yell at me for looting. Oh, some silver? What, we can just loot around here? It doesn't matter? We're not gonna get in trouble? This is interesting. I can't go in there. Lots of stuff to sell in here. Interesting. Okay. I think there was like a back room too. What is he doing to that guy? <laughs> God's preserve ye. They're just like oddly placed. Looks like they're just fixing the glass up here. Alright, let's see if there's more loot over here. It's strange that I can just like walk around the castle and loot stuff. Without them yelling at me. In here. Oh, it's the main... Oh, this is where we came from. We already read this one. I wonder if we can sell those books later on. Some goblet and grapes. Or dumplings.
Scrub the greasings from a dog's ear, soak into cotton twine, place it in a new lamp of greenish hue, and set the lamp betwixt an eager crowd. What in the world? Yeah, we read that one, too. I wonder if we can sell these books later. Oops. Some water. Okay. I think that's everything. We went this way. This is where we went to go talk to... Oh, it's locked. <laughs> I was like, can we loot in his office? Alright, I guess now we get we need to get going. Travel to Velen. Okay. So, let's see. World map. Velen. So, we came from White Orchard. I've never actually looked at the whole map before. Wow, this is... This is very cool. Okay. So, it looks like we're traveling to Hanged Man's Tree in Velen. Wow, this is all of Velen? Look at all the notice boards. All right. And Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Okay. Velen, Northern Tamaria, five days later. I guess it was like five days of travel time. So many hanged people everywhere. Well, I guess that's why it's called Hangman's Tree. Yay, new area. All right, go to the inn at the crossroads. Heart of Stone. Thank you for purchasing the Heart of Stone expansion. Oh, so it's because um, I have the Heart of Stone and Blood and Wine expansion. I guess it's just explaining it. Your currently tracked quest has been changed to the first quest of Heart Stone, Hearts of Stone. Yeah, we only recommend starting if your character is at least level 30. Okay, so I shouldn't do that one first. Your currently tracked quest has been changed to the first quest of Heart of Stone. Okay, so we shouldn't do that one yet. You can encounter a rune... While playing the Hearts of Stone expansion, you can encounter a rune right marked with the icon on your map. This new craftsman, the only of his kind, comes from a far-off land and can use his arcane knowledge to considerably improve your equipment. Seek him out and see for yourself. Okay. Okay. So which one is the Heart in Stone? Let's see. So we're in, we're doing in Siri's footsteps. Um, cause we're trying to find Siri. That's the main quest. What level are we for? Visit Triss in her house, suggested level 10. So we have some like leveling up to do in these areas. It's an innkeeper's job to tend to his guest need. So that must be why we go to the innkeeper place. Okay. So let's do this one then. It said suggested level five. Go to the inn at the crossroads. Um, Geralt traveled to Velen in search of Siri, an act that attested to the depths of his devotion. 
Only a man who has been to this land can know just how vile it is. At this time, it was commonly known as No Man's Land. Why? Well, the Emperor of Nilfgaard had not yet claimed it. Temeria was in disarray, and the Redanians had already retreated north. No man had been left in charge, and he had proved a terrible ruler. Geralt needed to find Hendrik, an imperial agent who had been working on Ciri's case, and to collect him from what information he had managed to gather. Okay. So, let's go find this guy. There's a random wild dog there. Let me make sure that there's question marks showing up on my... Well, I guess I won't get question marks until we pick up notice board. Okay, we'll just keep it on all. So we could go to the notice board here first um, on our way to that inn. There's a letter here. The Nilfgaardian court martial has been found this man guilty of the crime of desertion. Committed when he abandoned his weapon and dishonorably fled the, ba oh, the battlefield. As per the dictates of the Nilfgaardian military codex, he has been sentenced to death by hanging. May his name fall into oblivion for all time. Intense. What are that? What is that one dog? Some of them are like missing their fur. Okay. Fiber. I thought I killed some more. Oh yeah, there's X's on the map. Just collect some of these herbs and fiber. Okay. Oh, oh, he can get on from the back. All right, so there should be a little town here with a notice board. Um, I'm gonna walk so I can pick up some stuff. These are pretty flowers. Here's a anvil thing. Okay, there we go. Enhance our items. Let's see, it looks like the notice board. Oh, it's right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, everything from the notice board. And just kind of check out this town a little bit. It looks like pretty much everything's like burnt down, not looking good. War has wrecked havoc here. Caution, a large contingent of traitors has deserted the Imperial Army camp. Their betrayal has made them outlawed and common bandits. Use the deserter. Until the deserters are caught and pu punished, it is prudent to avoid any and all contact with them. All right. So let's see if some question marks popped up. Nice. Oh, wow. A lot popped up. Okay. Well, we can go do a couple of these in this area. I haven't found anyone to like sell anything to. So I guess we could go by the inn first and then pick up the rest of the stuff from the board there. And maybe we'll have a place to put some of our excess stuff and sell to people. Where's Roach? There she is. Go. So, wants us to go this way. This town is even more like 
deserted and run down than the last one we were in. To see what the next place looks like with the inn. Everyone's like crying and very hard times. What's this? What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. Um, I'll do it. All yeah, right. we don't work I'll for free. This will <laughs> count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Okay. So let's see. Find and burn the bodies lying in pits on the battlefield. And there's three pits. That's one of them. Okay. Well, let's go to the one in front of us first, That's I guess. It, Roach. Oh, there's some dogs here. What's that? A rock something? Getting eaten alive out here. Can I get these dogs out first? Now I can focus on this guy. Is he going to explode? Oh. <laughs> he was like blowing up. Necrophage hide and some blood. Let's go. Yeah, I was like doing no damage because I didn't have the... I couldn't bring the silver sword out because the dogs kept pouncing on me. Now for a shot of Igni. Okay. All right, let's look around the area a little bit. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Just some more bodies and herbs all right let's go to the next one all right up over this way i think it's kind of neat that you can read the signs on like why the people were hung it's a very interesting part of like the lore that you can feel like you're a part of like underneath every single one there's a reason for why they were hung all right looks like they might be down this way That's it, Roach. there's a lot going on down here mm, okay Sure stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. What? Lost your nerve? Oops. 
Got knocked out. Oh, oh, I died. What happens when you die? Oh, I was not paying attention to my health. Oh my gosh, what happens when you die? I think it said recovery to the last load. Okay, so the la okay, that's not that bad. Oh, I was worried we were going to lose all of our stuff. Man, I need to pay more attention to my health. All right, I think we should probably meditate before we go to the next circle. Um, here, meditate. I was not paying attention to our health bar at all. I thought we were fine. Okay. There we go. Full health. You know, drink some more apple juice or eat some more food. Oh. Not bad. Oh. You get better at parry. There we go. I feel like I've the next one's done this one before. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. <laughs> As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. <laughs> I won't help you. Um, I'll untie you. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. <laughs> I'd like to thank you somehow, but I'm not a chip crown to me name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Okay. I feel like we had done like a similar thing where he was helping someone and then they said something similar, but maybe I was thinking of a different one. Okay. So the next one to burn is up over here and then we can make our way over there and then get back to making that our inn or visiting the inn or whatever it wanted us to do and picking up more notices on the board. I think it's over here. Yeah, sure stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. Oh, he's behind me. Get out of here! Get out of here, Roach! It's not safe. I can't believe we we lost it to level two enemies. That's pretty bad. I just was not paying attention at all to the health bar. Holy. Now for a shot of Igni. Okay. Ashes. I'm 
It's just a barrel. Okay. All right, onward to the last one. Come on. The weather in this game is very beautiful too. I like even the rainy parts. I mean, it's nice when it's like sunny outside and not raining, but even the rain is fine. I think it's like the sounds and stuff. Oh. Hey there. Shit, one still alive. Uh. One still alive. <laughs> more? Yep, there's one more. Alright. He's alive. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. <gasps> a priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual. Just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. What? Are we still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect, but the fourth is main came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shoved wow. me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroying the evidence. Yep. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Can't trust anybody. Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, witcher. Wow. Well, we're going to give him a piece of his mind when we turn this quest back into him. Gosh, you really can't trust anybody out here. This is like the third quest where we finished something and found out that it's not exactly what they wanted us to... Not exactly what they were telling us to do. It's pretty cool, though. Just goes to show you that you can't trust anybody. All right, where are the bodies here that we have to burn? Oh, here they are. now for a shot of igni and we are using holy oil on them <laughs> what a priest all right mission done so where is this eternal fire priest he's like way he's like way up over there okay so we'll turn that in When we go explore that area, since we're already over here, I think that we should go um, change our quest to this one and go to the inn. Oh, that was weird. Okay. We'll see this cross crossroads town. It's probably going to be very similar to the other town that we were in, but maybe since it has an inn, it's going to be a little bit bigger. Just hoping that it has like a merchant and places that we can put our stuff. I think we're going the right way. What are they doing? <gasps> oh! That was a lot of people that were over my level. <laughs> Holy. I think that guy was a level 20 something. 
Yeah, we're going to do that later. Not now. We are too small now. Oh, there's a lot of genres over here. Reminds me of the time we were running around in White Orchard forever looking for drowner brains. <laughs> we could not find them. It took me forever. I even like clipped out some of the time that I was spent just looking around for the brains or for drowners. All right, we're in crossfields. Crossroads, I'm sorry. Okay, here's the board. Let's go ahead and grab everything. My true-born brother, Mikkel, is missing. Anyone who finds him, or at least finds out what fate has met him, will generously be rewarded. I'll slip a good word to the Baron about you as well. You'll find me at the inn at the crossroads. Uh, missing wife. Good people take pity and hear my plea. My wife, Hannah, she's missing. A few days ago, she went into the woods and hasn't returned. I'm near out of my wits with sorry, with worry and will pay any price to a man who brings her back or at least tells me where to look for her. Okay. So we have some new quests. Um, and we made it to the inn. Ask about the agent called Hendrik at the inn. Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about him? Give me a bottle of something strong. <laughs> you gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Why? I haven't finished my drink. I haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape. Vodka. Who's this? Uh, brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. <laughs> you fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Wow, he's nice. I'm a witcher. Care for a drink. Back off or die. Let's try to de-escalate. How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. We share a round. Won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? Um, uh, not your concern. Is it just me or is that none of your fucking business? I must be hearing things. That you sounded a little condescending. I'll have to kill him then. Oh, okay. I guess we did not de-escalate. <laughs> okay. Well. Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got. Uh, Where's Hendrik? You deaf? Understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand. Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Look that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Uh, what do you know about Hendrik? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No okay. need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. 
These people are kept under tight watch in these parts. Can I loot these guys? Nice. Alright. Well, I guess we could go around, ba around back, right? Oh, they're coming inside anyways. Where's his loot? There we go. All right, might as well go outside. Oh, he has a crossbow. Is that all of them? Extinguish. All right. What's that? Missing Tamara Stranger, daughter of the Bloody Baron, presumed kidnapped. Hearty reward for whoever finds her and brings her in. The Baron's daughter? Dang. Okay. Okay, so now we have to look for um, the Hendrick guy. Apparently he's across the hill in this area. I feel like we should do more um, like side questing around here though before we just keep moving on. I kind of want to like adventure back over by Hangman's Tree um, and up and around these parts. There's also another notice board up north here. We did a lot of story today and I would like to kind of preserve next episode for just doing some exploring around the new area that we made it to. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on another episode of The Witcher 3. I hope that you enjoyed our time um, in some of the main story this time. On the next episode, we're going to be hanging around in the new areas that we've discovered and doing more of the notice board question marks in those areas. So the next episode will be solely just question marks, notice boards, um, getting better at our skills, working with a little bit more of the skill tree. And I'm super excited for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of your feedback and comments as always. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's Witcher. And I look forward to the next one with you guys. Bye everyone.